what's going on guys so i just got back from the beach even though you probably already heard me say that in the video about this truck with the 26s on there but i haven't filmed that video yet this is the first time i've picked a gopro up in over a week this is the longest it's been in a very long i don't even know a couple of years since i've gone that long from filming something but i'm super excited to get back into it i'm glad to be home aside from the fact that it's somehow hotter here in alabama than it is than it was in florida it's absolutely miserable out here but i'm super excited because we are finally going to be doing some touches on the 22 starting with debadging the truck and then going back and throwing some new blacked out badges and i think it's going to look so much better i'm super excited i am definitely ready to take this guy off i like things to be symmetrical so i definitely want to take the slt off but i'm debating leaving the gmc or actually have a new black gmc we might try it on there but i also might like the super clean look y'all been telling me to debadge that thing for a while and i just haven't done it y'all i'm excited i'm just glad to be here working on trucks videoing making some new content for y'all so uh yeah i've had the trucks trucks sitting out here kind of baking in the sun getting these badges real nice and hopefully easy to take off uh, i'm hoping this one's not super super bad hopefully we won't have to pull the whole grill to get that out i'm not sure yet i haven't looked up anything so we'll see the truck is also absolutely filthy which is not great. I'm gonna have to give it a bath as well. But let's just go ahead and start with taking these badges off. We'll see what it looks like all clean. And then we'll go back, throw our new black badges on. So this has been baking in the sun for quite a while and I'm hoping I'm able to just peel these badges off. But if not, we've got some little pry tools, might use those. We'll probably just jump straight to the fishing line uh, and then we'll use the eraser wheel to clean it up. But maybe cause these are new and they're hot, we can just pry this up. I mean, they wiggle a little bit, but they're not really should have washed the freaking truck before doing this because i already know i'm going to be putting a ton of little micro scratches and stuff on it but oh well i've just accepted that with the black trucks it's just gonna be like that if we can get it started in my can then peel it come on not a chance not a chance. This right here is probably the most tacky part on it. All right. Very carefully. Oh, joy. As you can probably see, my 3M eraser wheel is starting to go a little downhill. I've had this thing forever, and I've uh, taken all that crap off of, which you might not have even seen that video yet, uh, <laughs> the silicone off the... Clifford's roof to fix the sunroof really took a beating on it, but hopefully it can get this job done. We'll move on to the next, and then once we get all this crap off of all of them, we'll go back, wash this off, take some solvent, some goo gone, whatever the case, get this clean. That way we're not putting a bunch of scratches all over the truck. Probably could get all these off with a little pry tool, but I'm just scared that I'm gonna scratch the paint up, so we'll just go the tried and true way. Honestly, that's the good thing about new and hot adhesive. I'm not even going to have to use the eraser wheel on this one, I don't think. Definitely thicker adhesive, but I'll say that. It's not. Oh, wow, I can literally just peel these off. He's got that reusable adhesive. Let's hope the, the big GMC is the same. Wow. Doesn't get easier than that. All right, maybe we could get lucky in the... <laughs> maybe not. These big summer guns are on there. Well, it's been a minute. I had to move the truck because my uh, iPhone overheated. And the only gloves I could find are these things, which I doubt are going to help at all.
maybe a little bit. That's just a big old chunk of adhesive right there. We get through it. Oh yeah, now we're going good. Well, as you can tell, my iPhone did in fact overheat again and I killed the video, but I got it all off. Basically, you can see on here and here it's smooth. So what you can try to do is um, like on here, I cut down this some, down this some, and then I was able to peel this off and get all that adhesive off and not have to do the whole sawing for the whole thing. Same way here with the M. I uh, pretty much did the whole way with that one, but then just peeled off right there at the end. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot, uh, 100 degree Alabama weather. Uh, iPhone is not doing too well, so sorry about that. So even with all that junk on there still, that looks super, super clean in my opinion. Not sure if I'm going to put the black GMC badge on there or not. We'll, we'll test it for sure in this video, but that looks super, super good. I like how the multi-pro multi looks with the with the naked tailgate. Uh, we got to get this baby off now, which it's been baking in the sun. Hopefully we won't have as much fight with this one as we did the other side. Then we'll go knock out the old Sierras up here. Come on. There we go. That's right. That's a pretty minimum cleanup. To do on this side i'll be a little extra careful on the passenger side and hopefully be able to get them all off even better than this all right let's try to get this one off super super clean wish i had some better fingernails to grab this thing but Perfect. One down. Let's try this way. Oh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Now on this one, uh, we'll go from this way. Now.
noise. That hurt super bad. Right, this is the last one on the whole truck. I have to peel off. Thank goodness. Come on, all three. Don't break. All the way. Come on, babe. Oh, well. Still pretty freaking good. Ta-da! All right, that one came off super, super good. So here's our new badges, and I think they look absolutely amazing. Chrome and black, obviously. These are the fronts for the grill. They have the little tabs and stuff, whereas the one for the tailgate is obviously just 3M adhesive, but it's the same thing. Looks super, super good. Now, I've got to figure out how to get access to unclip this one. I'm hoping that we can just take the uh, radiator guard off and get access to here because I can I feel behind here. I feel like there's a cover or there's some screws, whereas there's just those little tabs on the back of that one. Let's go ahead and remove this radiator guard that should give us access to the back of those emblems. We can get those removed. Just a bunch of push pins all the way around. Pop it up and kind of grab them. Well, we I heard it hit the bottom. Okay, we're all right. <laughs> Don't do that. I was going to say you could pull it up easy and pop them out one at a time, but it's probably best to go back and pull them one at a time because, as you saw, that one just absolutely launched like three or four of them. Got two T10s. And hopefully this will just slide and not have to remove the grill because that's going to be super annoying. There we go. Okay, it was. So now... You can just go ahead and lift this up, but make sure you don't close your hood. All right, so if we look down in here, we've got a couple screws, hex screws. See them there, there, and the new one doesn't have that. I'm not sure if this is a cover that's gonna come off or what, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop those off and see what's underneath. So I took the first two screws off, and as you can see, it's releasing this. So we're gonna be able to take this piece off and then swap the uh, three emblems out. So, uh, yeah, just going to give you a little update. That's what's holding this whole little outside piece on. Is that it? Or is there possibly two more in the middle that I did not see? All right, since this screw is like right here and you really can't get a socket into it, I'm going to be doing this, the slow and steady, hopefully, way to get this thing off and not have to remove the grill. There we go. She's free. All right, so now we can go ahead and swap over our new emblems. Obviously, it's a three-piece design. They've got these little clips holding them on, so I think the easiest way is gonna be just get you a pry tool, if you have one. Jam it in there, try to get it to stick, so when we pop this free, it should hold it out. While we're filming it, just like that, it looks factory as can be, perfect, except that defect right there that I just literally found. <laughs> what well i'll have to message them about that but you won't really see it but i'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of it and hopefully they'll send me a new set that's gonna be annoying but uh we'll keep going obviously the black looks so so much better like that that looks sick <laughs> Uh, 
All right, but there she blows. That does look absolutely sick. Let's go ahead and throw it in the truck. I'll get one screw started at least. We'll check it out. If I can get it to line up ever. There she blows. Oh my gosh, dude, that looks so good. So good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get it, all the screws back in it, get that cover back on. And then uh, I think we're pretty much done. I'm gonna wash the truck and then we'll do a little reveal, see how everything came together. Sorry if you get wrecked by the wind, can't really do anything about that today. But uh, yeah, dude, it looks so good in my opinion. I absolutely love the black GMC on the front. That cleaned it up so good. A little bummed that it's all skin up, but I actually bought that from GM Official, which is like GM's actual website that you can buy like aftermarket parts for, or OEM parts that are whatever the case. I bought that from GM itself, so I can't believe that it came messed up. I originally thought I remember buying it from eBay, but no, that was from GM, so they definitely gotta make that right, but looks super, super clean with that. I really do like it without the sea air on the door. It kind of just flows better. Obviously, we still got this badge, but this badge looks really good because it doesn't have any red or anything. It's kind of, you know, color. I don't know. It's not color matched. It's got like metallic-y in there. It looks good. That's a good looking badge. I'm sure they make some aftermarket ones that maybe we'll swap to, um, but that one doesn't bother me at all right now. And then obviously having the four by four taken off looks super, super clean. And then boom, dude. And yes, I did wash the truck, but I didn't dry it off. I just drove and it's still looking pretty filthy, but Dude, look how good that looks. Recon, if you're watching this, need some taillights. This thing is screaming for them now, for sure. Dude, that right there, with the wheels turned, the mud grab showing. Oh my gosh, that is the angle. But I think it looks super, super clean with nothing on there. Comment down below, let me know. I might throw the GMC badge on there in another video, but I think I'm gonna leave it off. Just leave it slick like that. It looks so incredibly good. I'm loving it. That cleaned it up so freaking good. Good, now the next thing that's standing out is the little orange bit on the headlight. Don't know if I really wanna tackle that because that headlight's probably like five grand or something right now with shortages and whatnot. Would not be surprised at all, but dude, oh my gosh. That looks so good. I also have my black, Onyx black mirror caps from my trail box boss that I actually swapped to white ones. Should we swap these to black or should we leave these chrome? I think we got a nice, nice, uh, you know, amount of chrome going on, but I thought that might be a nice little touch and then maybe get the whole mirror eventually color matched, not sure. But dude, everything came together so incredibly good. This angle right over here is just whew, insane. Oh, dude, that is her. That is so sick. Y'all comment down below. Let me know if you think we should put the emblem on the back. It's, it's, it looks just like the front one, but it's on the, you know, stick on. But I think that is super clean, just completely debadged. I'm loving it. Especially, dude, the 4 by 4 emblems being off. That looks so freaking good. Oh, my gosh. So freaking sick. I could walk around this thing all day long, but I want to bore y'all guys, so... Anyways, y'all comment down below. Let me know what you think about what we did in this video, what we should do in the next. And I guess with that being said, I'll see y'all there. Uh -huh.